Right y'all, so today this is a bit of a different kind of video. Let me show you around, right, what we're going to be doing today. So, I've got these two budgies. I've had them for about a good two months. And they are like ready to breed. They're just under a year old. And they've been feeding each other and everything. All the other signs, you know, that you need before, you know, your birds are ready to breed. That's the first thing that you're going to need is a cardboard box. It can be any box. Get it from B&M, Bocos, Aldi, anywhere really free doesn't cost anything just pick one of those up try and get a smaller box than i did obviously i couldn't find one so i had to pick this one up second and i had to obviously uh, mark your lines and cut it through because it's a bit easier with the cardboard box a tape uh, important a pen because obviously to mark it out so you can get the perfect size a ruler again to mark it out and everything and the scissors obviously for the bigger cuts and whatnot so First thing first, I'm gonna do. so the first thing you want to do is cut it out right, flat. So what I've done is I've marked it and these like scribbles that you can see on both sides. Right. Cut them out. So as you can see, I've cut those bits on the sides. And what you do then is you get it down from here to here. So if I put this down, that's where I've got a line marked out. And then you cut the axis bit. I've cut the axis. What I've done is I've folded this side in and I've let this one open uh, so I can show you. So what you do. You put it that way and then that way and then you just tape it together uh, so you just like i've done here and then once you've done this all you've got to do is make a little line here fold it over right here so i've done both sides now what i'm going to do is as you can see i put a ruler there and literally all you do is you get your knife and then you basically just sort of travel it along so if you look on the side there's like two layers of the cardboard what you want to do is just cut the top one so you can fold the top onto the onto the sides so that will make right. it so what i've done is fold it like i said cut that little line there fold the top in and now we've got the whole box almost done what i'm going to do now is cut out a circle here and for the back what i'm planning on doing is have like a sliding door so I can slide it open as well if needs be to look inside and see if there are any so eggs. Inside, I've marked out a circle. Like you can see, it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. That will do. No right, one. so guys, that's cool. Now, if you look on the inside, it's pretty wide. And with the eggs, obviously, you're not going to stay on that well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece of like cardboard there. And on top of that, I'm going to make this hollow. So when I put that there actually going to have something slightly like shallower than the rest of the space to kind of chill out so that's right, this is how we're looking currently from the inside you see as you can tell this is probably where the hand is going to lay the egg so it's slightly below so it's actually not going to kind of fall all over the place and whatnot and there's the hole and what i'm going to do now around for the back is i'm going to try and make like a slide and right on so it's all done i've added a little stick on the front and then let me show you what I've done around the back. It's not that clean, I know, but it will do the job. So what I've done is there's this door that I can open and see if there are any eggs and how they're doing. So yeah, and install it. I'm thinking sort of right around here so I can, you know, open the little latch and see. This should be fun. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I can't wait till because this is like the first pair that I've actually had for long enough for them to breed. So I'm like hell excited for these two to breed and I'll see. It will just be nice to have like baby buddies and how these guys react. They're probably gonna fly all over the place, but let's hope it doesn't make too much noise. Right, so now that the birth are out, I can fix this up. So what I'm gonna do is line here so that the door I can open it without causing that too much trouble right see the box is there I've kind of rested it onto there as well so it's got like a little bit more support and if we come around the back side I'll be able to open this and look inside if there are any eggs there. and once I'm done I can just slide it short and that's it. Right, another big tip for those of you that have got buddies or any other kind of parakeets, when you want them breed, you want some cuttlefish in there. Uh, so just stick, I'm going to stick that in and also uh, 
there is a different kind of theme. Let me show you. Got yellow, red, and blue like little balls in there. That's vitamins. So if you are planning on breeding your birds, that's what you gotta keep them on. And look, they're quite friendly. Look after the salmon. Like I was looking here and he just flew over. Right. Another tip for any of you that have got budgies. So you know, if you look, there's like seed shelling. So what you do is you come over a bin and you just shake it and then blown it and all the seed shells are just gonna come out and you're gonna be left with just pure seeds that you can right then guys that is all done this side looks fully done parrots are in there's the box and um, there's the fish food and water and um, obviously i'll keep you guys updated with how it goes probably another two weeks till she starts laying eggs and then another 10 days or so till she keeps laying well, the 21 days till we officially get kids right, at the end i hope you guys did enjoy that little tutorial i thought i was going to do it so i might as well record it and put it out there uh, if it helps any of you if it did if you did enjoy the video make sure you thumbs up comment down below any tips that you've got for me for next time and consider subscribing because i was looking at my stats right 53 percent of my viewers are not subscribed like guys it takes one second so i'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit that red button and yeah tell me the world to me and for now, that's it. I'll see you guys in a couple of days with the next video. Take care.